Hello and thank you for following me on Earth. I just want to show you a small uh, feature script to import CSV files. So, you know, in, in Outshape, to import CSV files, you need to, to, to use a small feature script. There are many feature scripts available by the community, uh, but let's say none of them work fine for me in my, in my uh, workflow. So I just took a few things and I idea a, a few modifications. So basically using this feature script that you see the link in, in the description. So feel free to share it, use it. So you can import this, the, the points, define it as a CSV file, and then you just create this phase. So look at that we have here the feature script available and basically you can choose to to do it as a polyline spline okay and then also you can choose the plane so basically this is the capability that i really like it because i use lofton a lot and i use different planes with different orientations so basically you sh you can just create in any plane and then you will draw your profile in that plane Okay, it can be any plane in any position. So for instance, if I create a new plane, let's say, let me offset this one. Okay, so here, let me sketch a line and then something like this. And then I will create another plane here using this option, line angle. Uh, let me put in a, a retroid angle. Okay, so let's say something like this. So basically using this utility, you just, okay, I need also to put it after that plane creation to make. So basically I just select my new plane and then it will be projected in that plane. And also you have the capability to scale the airfall. So you choose here to automatically will scale. Okay, so it's very helpful this this utility in my particular workflow pro probably also you will be found it useful. So just to show you how, how it how it works. So you go here in the tab feature screen and basically what you need to load is your CSV file. Okay. So you will have your X and Y coordinates. So here you have if you want some coordinates, you can just visit this link and you will have a very Large data of a database of there for coordinates. So basically, for you, I have a few examples already preloaded. So here you have a basic example showing you what happens. You have a close or open profile uh, airfoil, and then I have this case is a multi-element airfoil, and then here basically you can use this line to load the airfoil. So you basically load your your airfoil. You know that you come here and then import and then that data will be available. In this case, I created this uh, folder, Airfoil coordinates, and here you have available your coordinates. So, so far, I uploaded just five different Airfoil, so you can just access that from here, or you just can upload your new data. And um, what is going on here, a little bit just explain, I won't go into details, remember that you have the hell, it's very good, it's very well documented. So you create an enumeration list just to choose the airfoil that you want to show, so you know that drop down menu when you use the airfoil, the, the, the feature screen. So you choose if you want to have a spline polyline. Okay, and also here more options for the for the feature screen in your part tab. And here is where, let's say the magic happened. This is where you do the query to select the plane. So here basically we're selecting any then available in our workspace. And here all again, we also use the scaling. Like here you have the logic, you read your CSV available, and then you just choose, depending what you are choosing in, in your tabs, you just choose here to read it, and then you just do or a spline or a polyline. So basically you don't need to modify anything here, just feel free to add anything. So let me know if you add something else to make it more, more let's say, universal. Uh, the only thing that you will need to do is upload your new CSV file and then just put here your new path. So remember that you can add the new, the new path here, you use the import here and then you just go in your current document 
files and you will have your files available. So here we only have these six files, the one that uh, we have available already, but if you load, uh, load a new file, that file will be available. Remember, this is a CSV file, so for instance, I will show you a little bit uh, the format is nothing fancy, it's very straightforward. So I can download this file here. Okay, says file. And now let me see what we have. So basically, this is the format. So you have X and Y coordinate. It doesn't matter. Uh, the units you remember, you can scale everything. And what is important, I will show you is how you, do you start. You can start this from the trading inch or the leading inch. So there are a few implications when you do this blind. It's just how you construct things that you have to be aware, of, but it will work. Does in, in, in any order that you choose, starting from the from the front part to the rear part, from the rear to 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 the front part, and even you can split your airfoil just the upper and lower part. So just to show you a little bit what I telling you, depending of how do, do you start the, your order. So let's go part studio. So basically here in this one. I can choose, for instance, the open airfoil. Let's use this one. In this case, I am starting from the trailing edge and then I'm going all the way to the leading edge and then back to the trailing edge. And I'm not closing this. There's not closing the coordinate, but you can add it in the coordinates. So remember also, you just kind of sketch it here and then you can, you can create your face. So as you see, and then if you choose the one starting from the from the leading edge, you see that we start here, we go on the leading edge, but as we are using an spline in this case, look at that, you have this funny behavior. Instead, if you use the one that is open, that is starting from, from the trailing edge, you don't have that problem here. So that is the only difference, so be careful of how you do it. And if you use a polyline, it doesn't matter how you start it. Okay, it's just a polyline. So you are you have a piece piece white lines connect uh, that are connecting us passing through 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 those points. So it doesn't matter how you start it. Okay, so just have in mind that. And using this utility, you can import also multiple airflow. So here I have this very nice airflow. So we have the multi-element, three different sections important, and then you create your solid. And again, something that I would like to mention is, depends also how you do you sketch that that, that effort. So see here that we're sketching using a spline. So you, you don't see this facet here. So you see this facet here means that we're using this play, we're, we're using a polyline. So the polyline is just seeing faces, continuous faces. So you will have this facet. This is not a problem, but again, you can have small faces that might you are doing simulation CFD it might probably influence how your match is done you will get here small faces but it's not a big problem it's a good geometry okay it's a close it's a close solid so what I want to show you let me hide these three airfoils again what I'm telling you that the original geometry see that it is open so what you do is just is do the sketch and, and the sketching time, what you will do is project that airfoil and then you connect it here, you create your polygon. So in, looking, in this case, I kept the original geometry with this small space here. So probably this is not desirable because you will get really small elements here. So it's up to you what you would like to, to do, okay? So if you want to close this one, what you will do is you can erase those segments and then you can create a line here and you could close it. So now you have it in this way. So it's up to you the treatment that you would like to do. Then I want to show you in this case what I did was what I just did. Okay, so we have our background geometry and see that it is open. So here I decide, okay, I don't want to have this small edge here. I, prefer to close it. So in this case, 
this is a polyline but if you use a spline it would be the same behavior so let me go here I'm um, spline okay I don't okay here I have a fail okay now it's okay this is the one that is giving me problems I need to change the connectivity I know here okay so here you see the, the spline that I have is giving me problems but to control this uh, you just need to add more control points okay so it's up to you okay in this case let's get back the polyline okay so the spline will have problems here so you know and then the last sections that I imported I convert it to a, a spline so, so you use a polyline okay so let me hide the sketch so if you use this polyline see that you clearly see that you have small faces okay so if you have many points that's not a problem but if you have is there, is there is a lot of space in here when you do the solid you will see those facets but again that is not a big problem so when you import it what you can do is instead of having the polylines you just get a spline and then see that it's smooth and then when I do this cache okay I just project that spline and then I connect it here but again you can modify the, the background spline and get something close so it's up to you it's not a problem so remember to do those projections you use this feature here okay the use so this use will project everything that you have uh, underlying that geometry that construction plane or the plane where you are sketching and then you will project it to the current plane so well I found that this utility, this a few modifications using some other features. Create uh, this one is is more adapted to my workflow. So after you have this one, also you can apply any of the features as you see here. So you can do extrusion, lofting, whatever you want, just to con con construct your geometry. Well. I hope you found this useful. Again, in the description, you will have the link to this document. And thank you very much. And let me know if you, you do some modifications and improve this script. Bye.